Hi everybody, this is VibeFortBend.com. Sorry we are late. We are getting this broadcast of a critical boys basketball game between Clements and Travis. Getting it started a few minutes late. One twenty to go in the first quarter and the Clements Rangers lead at 15-9 over a Travis Tigers team that they beat at the Travis Tigers home court several weeks ago. This is going to be a huge game as far as playoff implications because Travis is at 7-3 in District 26A play, sitting tied for second right now with Ridgepoint, and Clements is at six and four. If the Rangers can get this win, then they will have, I think, one hand on a playoff berth. Basically, there's still several games to go, but the Rangers are in good shape. Okay, so just kind of hitting the ground running right here as Jaden Campbell has the basketball for Clements, and he gets it back there to Bryce Matthews. Almost an over and back violation. Clements, the home team in this game, being played at the neutral site, Wheeler Fieldhouse. A three-pointer is no good by C.J. Ogletree. And here come the gray uniformed Travis Tigers. Into the paint they go with Justin Mack and a whistle. And a foul is called on Abdullah Olajuwon. 15 to nine, Rangers lead it, and we're in the final minute of the first quarter. Olajuwon takes a seat and Chuck's Egbo comes in. Travis trying to score at the goal to our right. Justin Mack, quick release three. It's no good off the side. Jaden Campbell, the rebound with 42 seconds to go. Quickly down the floor they go and they get it in the hands of Divine Ugo Chukwu. Two and a foul for Ugo Chukwu. And that'll up the ante to 17 to nine, and he's going to the line. Ugo Chukwu, a very good looking sophomore player. He's gonna be helping the Rangers win games, not just the rest of this season, but also going forward for the next two years. Hopefully they don't come up with anything called the high school transfer portal. That would be terrible. He did make his free throw, so it's a three point play. Now Travis on the attack. They get it inside to Thomas Graham, gives the ball up. And it's one of the two twins that are named Martinez. Alex Martinez hands the ball off to Cameron Crockett, thinks about a three, passes off to his left, now gets the ball back, dribbling between the rings to the right side of the free throw line, launches a three, and it's good. Cameron Crockett, a tall drink of water at 6'6". He's a senior, and he makes it 18 to 12. But Ugo Chukwu with a three-pointer right before the buzzer to end the first quarter. Good start for these Clements Rangers. And our score after one period is Clements 21 and Travis 12. We'll be back on VipeFortBend.com. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder Blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st, so go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY or visit an Xfinity store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. Welcome back for the second quarter. The Clements Rangers off to a good start, leading Travis by a score of 21 to 12. Now, as I mentioned before we finished the first quarter, the Travis Tigers have the better district record at seven and three, tied with Ridgepoint for second place in District 26A. Elkins, by the way, leading the pack at 10 and 0. But if Clements gets this win, they'll be in great shape. Interior pass to Cameron Crockett. His bunny is a little bit too hard, and a rebound comes down to the Rangers. Campbell gets it ahead to Bryce Matthews. Off the right side, off the glass, no good. But Justin Mack of Travis fouled him. And it'll be Matthews going to the line. 
And it happened so fast I didn't get a chance to mention it, but C.J. Ogletree got the rebound down at the defensive end for Clements and started that. He got it to Campbell, quickly ahead to Bryce Matthews, who's at the line for two shots. First one is good. 22 to 12, Rangers on top here at Wheeler Fieldhouse. And this is the first time I've been back in this place after the big remodeling. And I'm very happy to be here as the second free throw is missed. I just wish they would have started this game at six or seven. So we wouldn't have missed most of the first quarter. Justin Mack moving to his right, now between the rings. Now it's Martinez, interior pass to Crockett. He's fouled as he goes up. Ogletree got him with the body. And Cameron Crockett will go to the line. The bundle of energy that is Hemsey Price, the head coach of the Rangers, is constantly in motion. He's just always up, moving back and forth. Big loud voice, which you need, even though we don't have a huge crowd. And well, that's because we started at five. Crockett with the first free throw makes it 22 to 13. Travis down by nine here. They fell behind 11 to nothing when these two teams met in the first game, which was at Travis. And unfortunately for Clements, the second free throw, this is not what was unfortunate. It's unfortunate for them that Chuck's Egbo had a foot out of bounds when he grabbed the rebound of the second free throw, which was missed. And there is Travis quickly inside. They get it to Michael Ufot, but he can't score. Bryce Matthews wrestles the rebound away from Travis and draws a foul, or does he? No, he doesn't draw a foul. They thought it should be a foul. They, meaning Clements baseball players, off to my right. And they are in full throat. Full court press by Travis. Bryce Matthews moving in on Zach Martinez. Switches to the left hand dribble between the rings, gets the ball to Ugo Chukwu. Ugo Chukwu looking for someone to throw the ball to. Now he dribbles to his left. Now it's Matthews thinking about a three. Top of the key, Ogletree. Now it's Matthews. They move it around the horn to the left wing. Campbell gets it to Ogletree. Now Matthews, interior to Ogletree. Beautiful layup, backdoor cut, and it works to perfection. 24 to 13, Rangers leading by 11. 6.40 to go in this first half. Justin Mack dribbles to the top of the key, going side to side, trying to get around Ugo Chukwu. Sends it off to the corner, Zach Martinez, and throws it all the way cross court to the right corner, and an air ball. Travis does get the rebound, Zach puts it back in. Michael Ufot put up a three ball from the right corner and it missed everything. And the Clements baseball players really letting him have an earful. The lead is back to nine. Egbo knocks his man down, puts up a three. That's not very good, but it does hit glass and iron. And here comes Justin Mack into the forecourt for Travis. Now Zach Martinez looks at a three. He's way long. Crockett the rebound, lost the handle going up. But evidently, one of the Rangers knocked it out of his hands, but Coach Price shaking his head. He didn't really see contact. He just saw the ball come out of Crockett's hands. Zach Martinez to throw it in along the baseline. He looked like he thought about bouncing it off of someone's rear end. Does get the ball in. Now it's Alex Martinez. He's the twin with the curlier hair. Sends it over on the right side to Ufot. Now it's Juan Eddy into the game. There goes Ufot. And they chant air ball as soon as Ufot gets the, his hands on the ball. Juan Eddy runs around Matthews and with his long arms gets the ball up. Bryce Matthews fell down and Martinez stood over him and the Rangers baseball players didn't like that. We're down to a seven point lead. It is Clements 24 and Travis 17. Egbo with a pick and they call Egbo for a moving pick. So Travis after trailing by as much as 11 has brought their, brought the margin down to seven and now they have the basketball with 5.13 to go in this second quarter. Martinez to Ufot. 
Now the ball in the hands of Jacob Jones who hands it to Zach Martinez or correction, uh, Alex Martinez. Travis trying to pull out that zone defense of the Rangers. Juanetti between the rings, moves to his left, kills his dribble. Gives the ball up to Alex Martinez, back to Juanetti. Tries to make a move near the top of the key, kills his dribble again and gives the ball back to Zach Martinez. And it looks like they will reset the offense. Sunshine coming in through the windows and some defensive players shading their eyes. There it goes, Alex Martinez to the hoop, but he is denied by Jaden Campbell. Bryce Matthews to Ugo Chukwu, now in the left corner, Egbo. And now it is Clements that will spread out the offensive chess pieces and try and get Travis to come out from their tightly packed zone. Ugo Chukwu to Campbell between the rings. Gives it to Egbo, now gets it right back and now bounce pass to Ugo Chukwu. Guarded by Martinez. Moves to his right, Ugo Chukwu stops near the right elbow. Now he gets the ball back. Bryce Matthews, three on the way. It is no good, rebound Egbo. Goes up strong with a left hand and scores on the putback to make it 26-17. We're under four minutes to go in this second quarter. Roger Smith with you on ViteFortBend.com. A Ranger goes down, no whistle. Zach Martinez, a long three, no good. Juanetti, the rebound for the Tigers. Goes back in, but he traveled. Boy, I'll tell you what, if the Rangers baseball team comes through with baseball efforts like they do with verbal efforts to support their basketball team, they might really bounce back in the first year under their new head coach. Under three and a half minutes to go, Campbell has it. Sends it over to Ogletree, thought about the long distance, but got it to Ugo Chuck. Woo, back door layup, good! 28 to 17, the lead is back up to 11. That's the biggest one that the Rangers have had today. Martinez bounce pass to his twin brother, backdoor layup, no good, rebound Matthews, and the Rangers push it. Egbo on the right sideline, drives on in. Heavy contact between him and Jacob Jones, and Jacob Jones called for the blocking foul. Correction, I don't know that I don't know that they called it on Jacob Jones. It looked like he was the one that initiated contact, but the foul is actually called on Zach Martinez. Checks, uh, checks Egbo, a junior. Spins the ball, deep knee bend, free throw good. Nothing but net. And the lead is up to 12, 29 to 17. It has been a long, long time since Clements has swept Travis in a season series. In fact, I don't even know that it's ever happened. Egbo makes the second one. We've got a 13 point game, 30 to 17. Timeout and we'll take it with them. This is VitefortBend.com. First Iron Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireauto.com, and claim your savings. First Iron Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireauto.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Welcome back. Travis is down by 13 to the Clements Rangers who are trying to go for a season sweep of this Tigers team. And by the way, tomorrow night, 7 p.m., we'll have the game between Ridgepoint and Elkins. Elkins undefeated in District 26A with a 10-0 record. Ridgepoint currently tied with Travis for second at 7-3.
A little bit of a delay for players to tuck in their jerseys. 2.58 to go in the second quarter and Travis on offense, trailing 30 to 17. Zach Martinez starts right, zags to the left, now gets it to Cameron Crockett through the shaft of sunlight. And we got a foul. And they call it on Ugo Chukwu. Crockett to throw it inbounds right in front of our broadcast table, gets it to Jones. Now Zach Martinez moves to the left corner, gets it to Alex, top of the key, three on the way, missed badly, way too hard. Jaden Campbell grabs the rebound and he's fouled by Cameron Crockett. And that's the seventh foul committed by these Travis Tigers, so it means free throws for Clements. It's also the second foul on Cameron Crockett, and Jaden Campbell will go down to what I guess is the uh, hmm. I guess it's the north end of Wheeler Fieldhouse. Rangers in their home whites with the navy blue numerals and letters trimmed in Columbia blue. Jaden Campbell hits the first free throw. He'll get one more. Now the lead is up to 14, and that's the biggest advantage that they've enjoyed. Second free throw also good. 32 to 17. A lot of basketball to be played, but do the Clements Rangers just simply have the Travis Tigers number this year? And a throw away. Alex Martinez had the ball go off the heel of his hand. And there's a discussion as to whether maybe a Ranger touched it before it went out. But that appeal was denied. And the ball does belong to Clements. In the backcourt, Campbell guarded by Zach, listening to Coach Price as he walks the ball up. Throws it into the forecourt. There's Bryce Matthews between the rings, side to side dribble. Gives it up. Gives it to Campbell. Drives the left baseline. Long bounce pass stolen away by Zach Martinez. Gets it to Alex. Goes into the left corner. Back to Alex. Quickly guarded there by Jaden Campbell. Now drives into the land of the Giants. And Jacob Jones picks up a loose ball and quick, quickly puts it in the hoop. It's 32 to 19. We're at 148 to go in the first half. Roger Smith with you on VipeFortBend.com. Big game here between Clements and Travis as we're in the second go-round of district play. Bryce Matthews on the right wing gets it to Campbell. Campbell to Ugo Chukwu. They work it around to Bryce Matthews. Now it's in the left corner. Egbo, Ogletree inside to Campbell with a no-look pass. Loose ball picked up by Egbo. Rangers really hustling in every situation. And a near steal by Travis, but Ugo Chukwu keeps it. Matthews three, yes! 35 to 19. 16 point game, 108 to go in the half. And now Bryce Matthews called for a blocking foul. Didn't think he was guilty. Alex Martinez initiating the contact and Martinez judged correctly that the official would say the feet were shuffling. By the way, I see Bobby Darnell down there at the uh, the big old blue cooler watching the Rangers play basketball after one of the greatest Rangers seasons in a long time. Seven and four was their record, by the way. And Coach Darnell's son, Micah, is taking pictures underneath the basket. The first free throw was good by Alex Martinez. Here comes the second one. It's good also. 35 to 21. And the Clements Rangers boys are doing everything that a home crowd should do even though they're not on their campus. This is kind of a neutral site here at Wheeler Fieldhouse. There goes Ugo Chukwu. Gets it to Campbell in the corner but he traveled before he made a move. We're in the final minute, 52 seconds to go. Zach Martinez into the forecourt, 
near sideline. Cross court pass gets it to Mack. Mack almost traveled. Can't believe he got away with that. Now it's Zach Martinez right wing. Can't get the shot off. There goes Mack into the corner. Dribbles off a defender's foot. Picks up the ball. Travis still has it. But Clements playing airtight defense. Zach Martinez now to Alex. Drives the right baseline. Gives it up to Zach. Long three. In and out. No good. Bryce Matthews the rebound with the 19 seconds to go. Travis trying to steal. Alex Martinez tried to get the ball. But part of his body was out of bounds while he was touching the ball, which means Clements gets to keep it. Actually, it was a foul on Alex Martinez. I thought it was simply a ball out of bounds. And so Ugo Chukwu will shoot free throws. Beg your pardon. Ugo Chukwu ready, first free throw off the back iron and no good. And it was the front end of a one and one. Travis didn't realize it. Now they put it in motion. 14 seconds to go, Juan Eddy. Now Mack, now back to Juan Eddy. Top of the key, will he shoot a three? No, it's over there to Zach Martinez. Clock at four. Long way from the basket. Fires one from 30 feet. Off the back iron, no good. And a first half that was dominated by the Clements Rangers ends with a score of 35 to 21. I'm Roger Smith. We'll be back to talk to you about what we got going the rest of the week here on VitefortBend.com. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavenaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. I so appreciate Mr. Announcer Guy sharing with the crowd the information that we have this game live and on the podcast, always free to listen to VibeFortBend.com. We also appreciate Assistant Athletic Director, I should say Associate Athletic Director, Deb Mize, who's staring me down right now for everything she does to uh, make sure that we get what we need and we get great games to broadcast for you. It is 35 to 21 at halftime. Clements on top of Travis, trying to get a sweep over the Tigers. And we really do appreciate everything that, uh, number one, that you, the listeners, do for us. Because if you weren't out there, we'd just be talking to ourselves. We'll be back after this message from the University Interscholastic League. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. 
Everyone agrees, high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. By the way, don't you dare miss the the UIL Texas Boys State Basketball Championships coming up in San Antonio in March. And the days when, when we would be likely to, or I, I don't know, likely, that's a little presumptuous, but uh, when we might have Fort Bend teams playing, you've got the Class 5A semifinals on Thursday night, the 10th of March. And then the Class 6A semifinals would be played on Friday night, the 11th of March. And if we are fortunate enough to have one or more Fort Bend County teams get into the state championship round, which is possible, then we would bring you that game or those games on Saturday from San Antonio here on VipeFortBend.com. And, you know, we've had a lot of Fort Bend teams that make it to the state championship round or the state semifinal round. But uh, it's been a while since we've been able to bring home the gold. So that would be a wonderful, wonderful thing. Our coverage on VipeFortBend.com this afternoon or this, this evening, however you look at it, is brought to you by Comcast, the future of awesome. By Archer Volkswagen. They've been open since 1956 along the Southwest Freeway, southbound side, just inside the Sam Houston Tollway. And they are ready to serve you Monday through Saturday. Archer Volkswagen will make you feel like family when you are there. So go and see them and tell them you appreciate their great support of VipeFortBend.com. It's their first year with us as sponsors. By the way, I'm kind of doing something else while I continue to talk to you. We're also brought to you, of course, by First Tire and Automotive. They have four great Fort Bend County locations, including not too far from Wheeler Fieldhouse on Lexington Boulevard here in First Colony. And they are open Monday through Saturday, just like Archer Volkswagen is. <coughs> so for the best prices on tires and for service, anything that you would need done to your car to make it run at its very best, go to firsttireandauto.com. You can also go to their website and get coupons and get great savings on prices that are already fantastic. We're also brought to you by the Needville Insurance Agency. You know you have to get the best deal on your car and your home insurance because with the rising price of pretty much everything these days, every penny counts, and I guarantee you that Bradley Stavanaugh and his team at the Needville Insurance Agency will help you out. Their number is 979-793-7411. I'm already a customer and they shop all these dozens and dozens of carriers to make sure you get the very best deal. That's the Needville Insurance Agency. If you don't want to call them up on the phone, that's fine. Just go to needvilleinsurance.com. Don't even have to leave your house. They'll take care of your home and auto insurance needs and save you a whole lot of money. And you don't even have to leave the house. We'll be right back. It is 35 to 21. Clements leads Travis. The Rangers are back out on the floor, warming up, and we shall return on VibeFortBend.com. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig, power all your devices, and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig. Or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st, so go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. 
Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. First Iron Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireandauto.com, and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. So Travis is trailing by 14. The Clements Rangers built their 35 to 21 lead with very balanced scoring. No one in double figures. Bryce Matthews has nine points and Divine Ugo Chukwu is having a heavenly game. He scored eight thus far. And I will say that when we interviewed Hemsey Price prior to that, that game that the Rangers won at Travis about a month ago, he said, when we shoot the ball well, we're a good ball team, ball club or something. I'm sorry, I'm paraphrasing. But that has been true every time I have seen the Rangers play. In fact, they are undefeated on VipeFortBend.com broadcasted games this year. By the way, on the Travis side, it's the Martinez Twins leading the way in scoring Alex with six and Zach Martinez with five. And... <clears throat> if Travis is going to come back and win this game, Cameron Crockett is going to have to be a part of that plan. So the Rangers get the ball first, moving left to right in the second half and leading by 14. Bryce Matthews to the top of the key. A reach-in foul on one of the Martinez twins. And it's on Zach. And Martinez has to leave because that is his third foul. And Justin Mack comes in to replace him. And Clements to inbound far sideline. Jaden Campbell in the backcourt. Mack picks him up there. Ugo Chukwu now has it. Dribbles toward the top of the key. Pulls up short of the free throw line. And now it's an it's a Ogle Tree 3. And it's 38 to 21. They lead it by 17. Their biggest lead here in the first minute of the third quarter. Juan Eddy has the ball for Travis. Sends it over to the right corner. Alex Martinez, spin move, can't get free. Now gets it back to Juan Eddy. Drives the left side of the lane. And a bad layup attempt. Great defense by Abdullah Olajuwon. Quickly down the floor. Matthews, two and a foul. The lead is up to 19, and now Matthews goes to the line. There's not much that the Travis folks can say right now. At present, they're getting blown out of Wheeler Field House, and Matthews completes the three-point play. It is 41 to 21. Justin Mack directing traffic. Long way from the basket, now gets the ball to Jones. Jones bounce pass, threw it away. Elijah on the steal, picks it up, throws it down to Campbell, waits for help, gives it back to Ugo Chukwu, but the Rangers lost possession. Here comes Travis. Alex Martinez in the right corner trying to get around. Matthews kills his dribble, almost lost it, did lose it. Ball is loose, fought for, and now it's in the hands of Cameron Crockett in the right corner. Campbell on him. Now gets it to Juan Eddy, thought about the three. Now Mack, top of the key, passes up the shot. Alex Martinez moves to his right. Now Crockett, and we got a whistle. And it's a foul on Abdullah Olajuwon. And that is his third foul, but they're gonna leave him in the game for now. Mack to throw it in along the baseline, gets it to Juan Eddy. 
Got away with the travel before he made his move. Killed his dribble. Now the ball stolen by Ugo Chukwu. Here he goes in on Martinez. Bumps him out of the way. Got away with it. Laid it in for two. And Travis wants a timeout. They're down 43 to 21. It is all Clements Rangers. We'll be back on VibeFortBend.com. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. All right, as the Rangers come out of that timeout, they keep Abdullah Olajuwon on the floor with three fouls, but his team is leading by 22. Justin Mack, three from the top of the key from long distance. He was 30 feet away, and he bombed that one in. The lead now at 19. Ugo Chukwu bounces the ball off of Juanetti's leg. So last touch by the Tigers, and Clements will keep it as they inbound the ball underneath the basket at which they're shooting to our right. Olajuwon bounce pass into Ogletree. Now Campbell, guarded by Mack, sends it into the corner. Ugo Chukwu launches a three, and it rattles around no good. Rebound comes down to Alex Martinez into the forecourt. Pulls up, gives it back to Crockett. Will he shoot the three? Puts a move on Ugo Chukwu. Drives to the left baseline, fade away, good. And Travis has scored two or uh, four quick points coming out of that timeout. Correction, five. Two baskets, one a three, one a two-pointer. Timeout taken by the Rangers. Coach Hemsey Price sees something he wants to discuss. And we will be back on bikefortbend.com after this from Archer Volkswagen. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Here inside Wheeler Fieldhouse and my favorite basketball player of all time, the great Akeem Olajuwon, Abdullah's dad, is in the stands. And he's got to be enjoying what his son and his teammates are doing. Clements leading it 43-26, to 26, a 17-point edge. Bryce Matthews into Olajuwon, knocked his defender down, and he gets called for the offensive foul. And that is number four on Abdullah. They sat him down for, a, I don't know, I, I don't know how many minutes, but it seemed like, uh, well, at least a third of the minutes in the first half because he got in, in foul trouble. And they did just fine without him. And they didn't even have Abdullah Olajuwon in the lineup when they beat Travis the first time. Mack, three-pointer, no good. Co Crockett, or rather, I'm sorry, Thomas Graham fighting for the rebound for Travis. And a great effort, but he could not save it. Travis is going to deploy the full court press probably until they catch up or until they declare it a lost cause. Matthews looking, gets it into Ugo Chukwu. Mack picks him up. Now he gets it in the forecourt, Ugo Chukwu. Side to side dribble, launches a three, yes! To the delight of the Rangers faithful. It's back to a 20 point lead, 46-26. Martinez. Zach Martinez gets it to Crockett, side-to-side -side dribble. Crockett launches a three. That's way off to the left. 
And Martinez battles for the rebound, gets it back to Mack. Three-pointer on the way, no good. And Zach Martinez grabs another rebound. A pass to his twin brother on the left wing. Passed up the three, drove inside. In jail near the baseline, Ugo Chukwu is right there on top of him. And the ball belongs to the Rangers. There was hard contact and no foul called. And the Travis Tigers taking exception to something that they perceive Ugo Chukwu did. I'm not sure what he did. Campbell now with the ball for the Rangers into the forecourt. All the way to the right corner, Ogletree passes up the three, drives to the hoop, bounces it back to Egbo, traveled before he made his dribble drive move. Four minutes to go in the third and it's 46 to 26. Back to Zach. Martinez over to Alex, launches a long three. The left-hander is good, nothing but net. That makes it 46 to 29. The lead back to 17, and Campbell will handle getting the ball up the floor. Mack playing aggressive defense. Now the ball in the hands of Matthews, who gets it back to Campbell. Into the forecourt now. Overhead pass to Ogletree, guarded by Juanetti. Ogletree bounces it to Ugo Chukwu, near the top of the key, and he loses it. Taken away by Juanetti, and a foul by Ugo Chukwu. Coach Price telling him, you know, once you... Do you see that we have a turnover? Sometimes don't, don't compound it by getting another foul, but it's only two on Ugo Chukwu. Juanetti has it for Travis. Little Euro step through the free throw circle and he draws a foul. Ogletree making the contact. CJ has two fouls. Zach Martinez to throw it in. Gets it to Crockett, moving in on Matthews, and it's an offensive foul on Crockett. He used that right elbow to knock his defender away. We've still got a 17-point game. The Clements Rangers, through one full game and almost three-quarters of the second one, just have the Travis Tigers number this year. Matthews inbounds to Ugo Chukwu, and Travis kind of backs off. No real strong, aggressive full court press. Ugo Chukwu standing near the midcourt circle, dribbling, waiting for the defense to come to him. Now he makes a forward move. Egbo tries to set a pick for him, and he tries to get an interior pass to Egbo, but threw it away. Mack pulls up, three-pointer on the way. Short, off the hands of Campbell, out of bounds. And the Tigers will get to keep it. Trailing 46-29, 2.47 to go in the third quarter. If Clements hangs on and wins, then they will be tied for Travis, uh, with Travis. Everybody's playing a game tonight because all those games scheduled for Friday were postponed because of the winter weather. Turned out to be dry winter weather. Travis with it now, trailing by 17. The Martinez twins playing catch. And now Alex bombs away for three. He's hit his last two, and it makes it a 14-point game. Bryce Matthews and Jaden Campbell bringing it up for Clements. Cross-court pass to Matthews. Picked up by Alex. Gets the ball to Egbo. Crock it on him. And a steal by Alex Martinez, but he stepped on the sideline. Much to the Travis fan chagrin. He either stepped on the sideline or might have bounced the ball there. Bryce Matthews to throw in. To Campbell, guarded by Mack. Mack pokes it away, but it's still going to be Clements basketball. 2.10 to go in the third. And Clement still having to get the ball from their baseline to the offensive end of the floor. Olajuwon is back on the floor. He's got four fouls. Matthews to Campbell. Pushing it down the floor. Got around the defense. Egbo, three from the corner. Yes! Three-pointer from Egbo! 
And it's 49 to 32, the lead back up to 17. Travis has the offense going, but they just can't seem to really get consistent stops on Clement, but there's a beautiful backdoor layup by Justin Mack. Campbell to Olajuwon in the backcourt, bounce pass to Matthews, now they have it in the forecourt. Just gotta be careful with the basketball. Olajuwon drives into the paint, kicks it back out to Ogletree, and an offensive foul on Olajuwon, and I believe that's his fifth. And he is coming over to Coach Craig Brownson to shake hands, or fist bump, to be precise. So if Clements can finish out this victory, they're going to have to do it without Abdullah Olajuwon. And uh, the word terrible comes out of Hemsey Price's mouth as he's talking to his manager here at the scorer's table. Not happy with a foul call. Justin Mack got away with the travel. Drives into the paint. A little teardrop floater is good with the left hand. And now we've only got a 13-point game. It's 49-36. to 36. Long bounce pass to Egbo. And Egbo threw it away. Juanetti stole it. Justin Mack into the forecourt for Travis. And a steal away. Ugachukwu has it. Splitting two defenders all the way to the rack. Finger roll for two. And that makes it 51 to 36, and Travis wants a timeout. We'll take it with him on VipeFortBend.com. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireAndAuto.com Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Welcome back inside Wheeler Field House, where the Ranger fans are happy. They've still got a little over a quarter to go, but their team is leading by 15. And while you were away, Juan Eddy was fouled, uh, called for a technical foul. Jason Juan Eddy, the 6'4 senior. And so Ugo Chukwu, after getting that finger roll to bring the margin to 15, can add to the Clements lead with a couple of technical foul shots, but the first one is missed. One more for Divine. And it's good. So Clements leading now by 16 and getting the ball back. We're in the final minute of the third quarter. Craig Brownson talking to one of the officials, the one who whistled Juan Eddy for the technical and just had to get a few words in. Clements inbounds to Ugo Chukwu in the backcourt. Now it gets across the Center court stripe, and now Bryce Matthews, a three, and that's good! 55 to 36, the lead back up to 19. Justin Mack moving to his right, gets it to Zach Martinez. Alex from the right corner, his three is good. Alex Martinez is scoring, especially from three point range, has been all that Travis has really been able to count on today, and they're down by 16. 55 to 39. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. We go Chukwu to Egbo. Egbo to Campbell. Campbell sends it around to Bryce Matthews. Back to Campbell. Drives the right elbow and almost lost it. Martinez tried to steal it. Did. Ends up in the hands of Crockett. And Martinez is still on the floor. Cross court pass. Alex Martinez at the buzzer. Missed everything. And meanwhile, Zach is seated down at the south end of the floor. We'll see if Zach Martinez is okay, but what we can tell you is that what, with one quarter to go, it's the Clements Rangers dominating Travis, 55 to 39. We'll be right back.
When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig. Or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st. So go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. So Travis trainer Jay Jones came over and helped Zach Martinez to his feet. And it looks like Zach's going to be okay, but he does go to the bench for now. And we start the fourth quarter with the Rangers on top by 16. Justin Mack gets it to Alex Martinez. Cross-court pass to Ufot. Now sends it to the right corner. Mack thinking about the three. Didn't shoot it over Ogletree. They continue to handle the ball with their guards on the perimeter. Alex Martinez back to Ufot. And the three-pointer is short. No good. Correction, it wasn't Ufot. It was Mack. Now it's Ugo Chukwu into the paint. Back out to Matthews. Three on the way. It's no good. Rebound Juanetti for the Tigers. And here they come with seven and a half minutes to go. Justin Mack met by Matthews at the top of the key. And now it is Crockett. Long three. Short. No good. Rebound Juanetti. Fighting. Gets a rebound of his own miss. Goes back in. Spins. And a foul called. I thought for a moment they might call him for steps because he kind of made a few Patrick Ewing steps there. I thought maybe he made one too many. But Juanetti goes to the line. 7-11 to go in the game, and you know there are a lot of those 7-11 convenience stores popping up around Fort Bend County. Maybe we should have a little promotion every time the stop clocks, uh, <laughs> stop clocks, the clock stops with 7-11 to go. In a period, you know, we could uh, do a commercial. Juanetti missed the first free throw, but hits the second one. It's 55 to 40. I'm not sure what the delay is here. Although officials have been telling players to tuck their jerseys in a lot today. Matthews bounce pass into Ugo Chukwu. Guarded by Juanetti. Juanetti backs off a little bit. Ugo Chukwu's got those moves, gets it across the midcourt stripe, drifting over to his left, and now he gets it to Ogletree. Playing catch with Matthews now. Matthews asking for a pick from a teammate, gets it to Ugo Chukwu. Now to Egbo, top of the key, gets rid of it. Campbell has his hands on the ball now. Guarded by Ufot, number four, guarding number four. Egbo has it now, guarded by Mack. Rangers don't mind killing a little time here. Bryce Matthews gets it to Ugo Chukwu. Rangers always very patient on offense when they have a lead late in a game. Campbell holding the ball over his head. Now a bounce pass to Egbo. Now Matthews, now Ugo Chukwu. Clock ticking down toward the six minute mark. And Rangers leading by 15. And it's a five-second call on Clements. Ugo Chukwu was being guarded, but wasn't making any progress toward the basket. So Travis gets it back, trailing by 15. Justin Mack between the rings, gets it to Alex Martinez. He's had the hot hand from three-point range. Juanetti back to Mack, into the paint, pulls up, shoots the short one. Good from 10 feet. That makes it a 13-point game, but the Rangers quickly into the forecourt. Ugo Chukwu puts it up, and it's no good, but he did draw a foul. Coach Price is telling Jaden Campbell no need to push the ball down the floor. Don't throw a risky pass. That worked out because Ugo Chukwu did make a drive to the rack. And his first free throw is good. The sophomore is really good from the foul line. Good 
Hugo Chukwu hits them both and doesn't hit the rim either time. And a substitution, Zach Martinez back on the floor and he replaces his brother Alex who has four fouls. 5.44 to go, Mack into the forecourt for the Tigers. Trailing by 15, 57 to 42. Mack has the ball back, still between the rings. Now Cameron Crockett left wing. He'll shoot it from long range, but no. He passes it up. Now he has the ball back. Free throw line puts it up, draws contact. And his shot is no good, but he'll get two shots. And Ugo Chukwu is the guilty party. He has four fouls. Crockett's first free throw is nothing but net. By the way, Ugo Chukwu actually has three fouls. Crockett hits both free throws and he swished both of his. Timeout, Travis. We'll take it with him. This is VipeFortBend.com. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavenaugh with Neville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. We see all you do to get work done, whether it's keeping your office clean or redesigning your space for three or 300. Our business is to keep business going. Buy online and pick up in store or get free next business day shipping at Office Depot, Office Max, and OfficeDepot.com. We want to thank the folks at Office Depot, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace in Sugarland. They take care of business every day so we can bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. 13 point lead for Clements. They get into the forecourt. Ogletree to Campbell, now to Matthews. And they spread out their ball handlers, try and draw out the defense. And a timeout, uh, injury timeout, Jaden Campbell's right leg tightening up a bit. And <laughs> I almost saw one, someone come in who was very anxious to do so, Jojo Perwoko. We're going to take a quick break while they figure out if uh, Jaden can loosen up his leg. We'll be back. First Iron Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireauto.com, and claim your savings. First Iron Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireauto.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Welcome back inside Wheeler Fieldhouse. 5-11 to go. 57-44, Clements leads it and the Rangers have the ball and Jaden Campbell's leg appears to have loosened up enough. They took a timeout because he was cramping evidently, but now he's back out there. Bryce Matthews into the forecourt, pushed Juanetti out of the way. Ugo Chukwu lost the basketball on a tough bounce pass to handle. Ufat to Juanetti. Moves to his left, and a pass in the paint. Ball is loose, held ball. It will belong to the Rangers. Wait a minute, no it won't because Travis called a timeout before the held ball was called. We'll take a break. Still a 13 point lead for Clements. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder, blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. 
You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig? Power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig. Or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st. So go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. So the Rangers... Looking to improve their district record to seven and four, but they have 454 left and Travis has the basketball. They called a timeout before a held ball. Justin Mack inbounds to Zach Martinez and he shoots the three, it's good. We're at a 10 point margin, 57-47. Jaden Campbell to Bryce Matthews. Now they ratchet up the pressure in the backcourt and Campbell gets it to Ogletree in the forecourt. To Ugo Chukwu, now they'll play catch. Kill off some time. Four and a half minutes left. Rangers by 10. Now Matthews has it between the rings. Ogletree on left wing, keeping the ball away from Juan Eddy. Egbo. Now it is Matthews, kills his dribble. Actually, he had not dribbled, then he started dribbling, and he's still dribbling. Gets it to Campbell. Now back to Matthews. Crockett is on Matthews. Number five guarding number five. Egbo to Ugo Chukwu. Right corner three. In and out. No good. Rebound Travis. Juanetti cleaned the glass. Four minutes to go. Matt calling out instructions. Moves to his left. Between the feet dribble. Moves between the rings. And Zach Martinez passes up the three. Gets it back to Mack. Launches it from the top of the key. And it's good. We've got a seven point game. Oh my goodness, we might have some drama after all. 3.35 to go, Rangers get it in bounds. Campbell gets it to Matthews, almost lost it. Campbell gonna throw it, bounce pass, and stolen. No way in the world Mack didn't travel. He dived for the ball and rolled over, and now they go held ball and give it to the Rangers. I've never seen somebody writhe on the floor so much with the basketball in their hands and not get called for traveling. But things are going Travis's way right now. They trail only by seven. Bryce Matthews gets it into Ugo Chukwu, guarded by Zach. Now Campbell has it, far sideline, across the timeline, back to Ugo Chukwu near the midcourt circle. Guarded by Zach Martinez. Now Campbell has it, guarded by Juan Eddy. Clements happy to kill off some time. There goes Campbell, kicks it back out to Matthews. They're in no hurry to shoot. And a foul called on Justin Mack. He reached in on Bryce Matthews. Travis is not over the limit. One more foul and they will be. Right in front of the scorer's table, it is Matthews into Ugo Chukwu. Guarded by Ufat, almost lost it. And the ball knocked out of bounds. And it will belong to Clements. Ufot almost got a clean steal. We're under three minutes to go. It is Clements 57 and Travis 50. And it is Campbell who takes the inbounds pass from Matthews. Long pass to Ogletree. And it was too long. And when he came down with the basketball, he landed on the baseline. Rangers getting too greedy. And they turn it over. Up only by seven. No pressure in the backcourt. Here comes Zach Martinez across the timeline. Gets it to Ufot. Back to Zach between the rings. Now Juan Eddy. Eggbo on him. Travis looking for a good shot and they go from long distance. Mack air ball. But Travis captures the rebound. And Zach Martinez has his shot partially blocked. But underneath Cameron Crockett scores. And he is fouled and he gets in Ogletree's ear and no technical foul is called. (laughs) 
We've got a five point game and Cameron Crockett shooting a free throw. 2.29 showing on the clock. Crockett's free throw good. 57-53, Matthews gets it into Campbell, guarded by Mack, makes a move. Dribbling down the floor and it's stolen by Crockett. Crockett going in on Matthews, puts it up, it's good! No, it's an offensive foul! Matthews held his ground and drew the offensive foul and the Rangers get it back. That may prove to be a big play, but the Rangers have a long two minutes, 20 seconds to fight off this late rally by the Tigers. There goes Matthews, bounce packs to Ugo Chukwu, and it's Ogletree with a three, and it's too long, no good. Crockett grabs the rebound for Travis. There goes Cramon, Cameron, hesitation move, finger roll, scores, a two-pointer. It's a two-point game, 57 to 55, under two minutes to go. Matthews double teamed and gets it to Ugo Chukwu into the forecourt. Gets it to Ogletree, easy layup. Now the lead is back to four. 59 to 55, no timeout by Travis. The Tigers still attacking, 141 to go. Zach Martinez motions Ufot to go down low. Now cross court pass to Mack, guarded by Matthews. Mack dribbling between the rings. He's directing traffic to Ufot, now back to Mack. Now to Zach Martinez on the right wing. Now Crockett thinking about the three. Not gonna pull the trigger, Egbo is on him. There goes Mack, left side of the free throw line. Fade away two, good! 59 to 57. And a timeout is taken. I think it was by Clements, but I'm not absolutely certain. I do know we're gonna take a break. We got a barn burner, 112 to go. Rangers leading Travis by two. First Iron Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireandauto.com, and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Well, you couldn't ask for a more exciting fourth quarter than what we have right now. Clements trying to hang on. They lead 59 to 57. They had led by as much as 22 earlier in this second half. So now it is Bryce Matthews to throw it in along the baseline, 94 feet from the basket at which Clements needs to shoot. Ugo Chukwu takes the inbounds pass. Trying to move up on Mack, gets around him. Gets the ball to Campbell. Now they kick it back to Matthews. Now they're gonna play a lot of keep away, I think. We're under a minute to go. Two point lead for the Rangers. Ugo Chukwu guarded by Zach Martinez. Still dribbling, moves to his left. Contact, there goes Ugo Chukwu. And now it's a layup! A layup by Egbo! Four point lead, 45 seconds to go. Here come the Tigers, Zach Martinez left wing. Ugo Chukwu on him, started to pull the trigger. Now got it to Ufot, now Mack. Mack looking around, kicks it back to Cameron Crockett between the rings. Will Cameron shoot it? Between the back dribble and maintains control and goes to the hoop, draws a foul. Cameron Crockett is going to the line with 25.6 seconds to go and his team trailing by four. Second foul of the game on Bryce Matthews and Cameron Crockett's first free throw is good. He's been money from the stripe tonight. I say tonight because the sun has gone down. It's dark outside and Hemsey Price of Clements wants to ice Crockett a little bit. Calls a timeout before his second free throw. It's a one possession game, 61 to 58, 25.6 to go, we'll be back. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. 
or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. So here we go, one more free throw coming for Cameron Crockett of Travis. His team is trailing 61 to 58. We've got 25 and a half seconds to go. A lot bigger crowd inside Wheeler Fieldhouse than we had when this game started at 5 p.m. I wasn't even here when it started at 5 p.m. Clements fans making a lot of noise, trying to distract Cameron Crockett, but his free throw is a swish. And we've got a two point game again, 61 to 59. Bryce Matthews can run the baseline if he needs to. Gets it into Ugo Chukwu. There goes Matthews, quickly ahead to Campbell into the forecourt. Now back to Matthews. Gets it to Ugo Chukwu, back to Matthews. And it is Ufot who comes over and commits an intentional foul, not called as such, but by the you know, called as such by the officials, but that's the way I describe it. Because we know there's 15.85 left. Matthews will go to the line for critical free throws. Travis fans making the noise. Matthews free throw in the air, rattles down, it's good. 62 to 59. One more for Bryce Matthews, and this would make it very difficult for Travis if he hits it. It's good! 63 to 59. Here come the Tigers. Zach Martinez into the forecourt. He'll probably shoot quickly. Goes all the way to the hoop. Rolls it off the glass. It's good. Timeout, Tigers. We'll take it with them. They're within two again with 8.53 remaining. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder Blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig. Or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st. So go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. All right, we're back. 63 to 61, Clements leads it. They have the basketball, but Travis has all their long arm defenders on the floor. Bryce Matthews will throw it in with Cameron Crockett guarding the inbounds. Bryce can run the baseline and he does, gets it to Ugo Chukwu who is fouled with 7.6 left on the clock. Free throws coming up for Ugo Chukwu that are even bigger than the ones Bryce Matthews had a moment ago. He hit both to make it a four point game and if Ugo Chukwu can do that with 7.6 left, Clements will be in good shape but Ugo Chukwu misses the first of his two free throws. <clears throat> Coach Hemsey Price of Clements with instructions before the second free throw. Now Ugo Chukwu has the ball in his hands Second free throw good, it's 64-61. Travis needs a three. Here comes Zach Martinez, guarded by Ugo Chukwu. There goes Martinez, shoots a three and it's good! We're tied, 64 all! Wait a minute, is it a two? Is it a two or a three? If it's a two, Clements wins. Two officials are talking to each other. They're not sure. I thought maybe his foot was on the line. The Clements fans aren't booing, they're chanting two. 
Two of the three officials still talking now. The third official joins them. He's walking over to the scorer's table. No indication yet. It was only a two. It was only a two. And Clements wins. The game is over and the Rangers win it. 64 to 63. And I'm not sure what story, if any, is behind it. But the Clements Rangers players ran out the door, possibly to, to avoid a confrontation. Now they're coming back in. All right, we're going to line up and we're going to have a good handshake. There has been bad blood between these teams. Clements gets the win, 64 to 61. And you couldn't have a more nerve wracking game for a Monday night. We'll take a break and we shall return. And now the Clements Rangers players are running out of the gym, looking at their loyal fans, waving goodbye. And Coach Craig Brownson of Travis is I don't know if he's upset with the call at the end that it was a two-pointer or if he was upset with the Clements players for running off the floor immediately. But what a win for Clements. Okay, I said I was going to take a break, and I will. We'll be back. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireAndAuto.com. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. For nearly a decade, Comcast has been helping students get ready. We've connected 4 million low-income students to low-cost, high-speed Xfinity Internet. We're working with hundreds of school districts across the country to sponsor free Internet and laptops. And now, we're turning 1,000 community centers into lift zones, Wi-Fi-enabled safe spaces to study, so more students have the tools they need to be ready for anything. Learn more at Comcast.com education. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. Welcome back inside Wheeler Fieldhouse, and you would think after a big win for the Clements Rangers, their fans would hang around and Travis would go home, but it's the Travis fans mostly who are still in the building after, for them, a very disappointing 64-63 to loss. Leading the way for the Clements Rangers, 19 points for Divine Ugo Chukwu and 17 points for Bryce Matthews. Both of them had critical 
points from the free throw line late in this one. And very productive game for Zach Martinez of Travis. Played his guts out, also went down with an injury, but got up and returned to the game. But if he had just scored one more point, he wanted to shoot a three at the end, but his toe was inside the arc. And because of that, it was a two-pointer. And the Tigers come up one point short. So Travis and Clements now tied at 7-4 and four in District 26A play. And depending on what Ridgepoint does later tonight, they could either be in a three-way tie for second or a two-way tie for third. For right now, it's the Bush Broncos who came into tonight's game uh, that will start later at 5-5. Five and five. They're kind of on the outside looking in. they got to find their way in. So I want to remind you that we will be with you at 7 o'clock tomorrow night for the game between Ridgepoint and the undefeated Elkins Knights on VipeFortBend.com. For my producer, Rosie Bega, Merle Bertrand, Suna Venkat, Patrick Kinnick, the entire VipeFortBend.com team, we thank you so much for listening. This was exciting. I'm only sorry we didn't get here before it tipped off. But, hey, 5 o'clock start. What are you going to do? Roger Smith, we'll be with you tomorrow at about 6.45 p.m. from Hobson Fieldhouse for the game between Ridgepoint and Elkins. So long, everybody.